Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. Another super quick project for you today. It's going to be a, a tiny little card holder. So it's going to have two compartments, one where you can put cards in both compartments or you can put some notes in one side and your cards in the front. And it'll be closed with a little plastic snap closure. Hang around and I'll show you how to quickly make these little tiny card holders. What I've got here are two pieces of fabric that measure 13 and a half inches by five inches. We just need one of each of those. Then a piece of lightweight interfacing. This is a lightweight cotton interfacing. If you've got a dressmaker's lightweight interfacing, then that'll be great as well. And this one measures four and a half inches by 13 inches. So 13 by four and a half, five by 13 and a half for the fabric. Before we fuse this onto the wrong side of our fabric, we're going to make some marks on this. It still needs to be cut back a little bit further, as does the fabric. So we'll make our marks on this. From the outside edge, I'm going to come in four and a quarter inches, make a mark there, and I'll do the same for the other side. So we've got four and a quarter inches from the outside in on both sides, and that should then measure four and a half inches across the center markings. From the top, we're coming down two inches on both sides, and then you can join that line down here. These lines aren't going to be seen later. The marks that we're making with our pen now, we're going to be cutting out. So we've got a line two inches down from the top, and that's four and a quarter inches in from the outside edge. Mark that at two inches on this side and two and three quarter inches on the other side. So we've got two and three quarter inches here, two inches, and along here we've got four and a quarter and in the center we've got four and a half inches. I won't write that on there because that's a good, that's the usable part of our fabric. Take a ruler and mark a line from this point here down to this one here and it'll be on the diagonal. And from this one here straight across to here. And this is now our pattern for the card holder. So we've got a diagonal slip on this side, a straight here, and we just need to curve the top edges. We'll go and cut these sections out first. And we need to now shape a curve on the top corners here. Bring the interfacing together, find something to make a small curve on the corner just there, and I'm just going to use a bobbin. We only need a slight curve, so place the bobbin on the corner there, on the outside corners, not on the fold. And we can draw in a curve here, we've got our folded edge just here, and then we can trim that. Now we've got our pattern on our interfacing for our little wallet. The way it's going to look is like this. This will fold over here and this flap will fold over like that. Now you can take your fabric, choose which one's on the outside. I'm going to have the purple on the outside. Place that over the top and fuse this interfacing onto the outside fabric. Okay, I fused the interfacing onto the wrong side of the fabric and I've got the lining fabric right sides together, pinned it all in place. Now we don't need to go and cut our fabric out to set to match this. What we will do now is go and take this to the machine and we're going to start at the bottom here, around about here, we'll do a back stitch and we're going to stitch right on the very edge where the interfacing is. Keep going all the way around, come back, to about three inches away from your starting line. So we're going to leave an opening just underneath here. So start here, all the way around, come back and finish here with a back stitch. Then we can come back and trim our fabric. So I'm just stitching right on the very edge of the interfacing and the fabric. When I come to the curve, I'm just going to do one stitch at a time. I'll do one stitch, turn a little bit, another stitch, and keep on going until I come back to the straight edge. And at the end, I'll back stitch. Okay, the layers have all been sewn together. 
and all we need to do now is trim the two fabric pieces a quarter of an inch from the interfacing and you only need to do the side edges around here and this side here trim your corners we're going to trim the curves close to the edge And on the inside, you can just snip straight into the corner, but not through the stitching line. Or you can fold this in half and just take a little notch out like that. We've got our opening here. You can finger press it just to set a crease here. I think it's a little bit easier if you just take your seam and press that along the edge here. And then you can turn around and do the other side. Now that we have pressed the opening and we've clipped our curves and corners, we can turn it all the right way around. Poke your corners out so that they sit nice and flat. Where the rounded corner is around the top, I'll just use my fingers to press that around. And I'll just poke the corners with my scissors, but not with really pointy scissors. And then we can press that again. Once you've pressed all of that, flip it around so that you've got the wrong side facing up. And we're going to take this side with a rectangle and fold that across to come in line with the seam that we've got along here and then we're going to fold that one across as well and we'll line up the bottom edges so that they're nice and straight and this is where we've got our opening and we're going to stitch all of these layers closed we're going to go back to the machine and we're going to do a top stitch down this edge here along the bottom and back up the side making sure that that gets stitched down as well and that all of these layers are all nicely secured. And if you want to, you can continue along and do a top stitch all the way around the edge here. It's not necessary though, you don't have to do that. I'm going to stitch down the side, along the bottom and back up the side again. And then back stitch. Okay, the only thing left to do is to put a little snap on the front of the pocket. If you don't have little plastic snaps like these ones, you can go and use these little metal snap fasteners or you can stitch a little piece of Velcro on there as well. I'm going to fold this in half just to find the center of the flap and then I'll fold this down and place the flap where it feels comfortable so that nothing's going to fall out on the side. There's a center crease here that I've just marked. I'm going to put the point of my awl just along the center of the fabric there and poke that through the flap and make a mark on the front section of the card pocket. I don't want to go through all of the layers. I just want to make a hole on the flap there and make a mark on the first layer, the diagonal layer of the card pocket. Mark a little, make a hole there and then I can put my snaps in. You want the cap on the outside, poke that through and grab one of your little hat pieces, pop it on top, give that a press. With the one on the inside of the bag, you want to bring this flat section underneath, pop the spike through and then take the other little hat section, which is the opposite side to that one. Pop that on and give that a press as well. And there we go. We've got our little card holder completely finished. Snap that together. Very cute. And that will easily hold your business cards or even some notes in the, in the back section as well. 
And that's all there is for this little card holder. Very quick and easy to make. You can make loads of these up for gifts and, have, and even have them in matching fabrics with your other bags as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.